Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Janelle and I upload new videos every Wednesday. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this makeup look. I uploaded this picture on Instagram and asked you guys if you guys wanted to see a video on how I got that look and you guys said heck to the yes. So I decided to show you guys how I got this look. I thought this would be perfect for any sort of evening occasion, going into the holidays, this will be a good like holiday makeup look. It's definitely super dramatic. It's a bit much, but I think it's just so glamorous and so pretty. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, definitely keep on watching. Before we get into the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Wednesday when I upload. I love you guys so much and let's get into this makeup look. Love how my sleeve is just falling. Cute. So I get it, I look like a serial killer bunny right now, but let's get started. I already started off by moisturizing my skin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and prime it. So for primer today, I'm using this little sample that I got from Sephora. It's the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've been using this for like the past week and I have been really liking it. It definitely does help my makeup stay on a long time. So to prime my eyes today, I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm also gonna extend it kind of far out because I am gonna be doing more of a winged out look today. Don't forget to bring your concealer to this inner corner too, just because most people carry most of their darkness right in there. I definitely do. And you can't go back and really add concealer once you apply your shadow, because then it can tend to mess up your eyeshadow. Just make sure to bring it all the way in this inner part. So for today's look, I will be using a couple of like my MAC single shadows. So to set all over my lid, I'm gonna take Vanilla by MAC just to set where we just concealed all over our lid. For my initial transition, I'm gonna be taking Soft Brown by MAC. I swear, I just wanna shave all of my hair off. I'm just so over it. It's always frizzy, there's always flyaways. It drives me insane. So since I want this look super winged out, I'm gonna take a straight edge and blend my shadows up against that. I'm do this, so I'm just kinda angling it up against this and then sweeping it into my crease. to kind of deepen up and give a different undertone to my crease I'm going to be taking this shade called Query by MAC it's like a gorgeous kind of purpley undertone neutral transition I'm just lightly grazing that color kind of on top of where I put that soft brown shade working it toward the front part of my brow and then once I get to the edge of my shadow I'm gonna again use that straight edge and wing it along there so with my MAC 217, I'm going to mix these shades, Espresso and Brun. And this time, I'm going to pack that right on the edge and kind of bring it onto my lid. So now I'm going to dip into my Morphe Jeffree Star palette and take the shade High Dew and focus that kind of right below the last colors I just placed. And I'm using the same brush and I'm just, again, I'm kind of stamping it, starting on like the last third of my lash line and then angling it up against that straight edge. The same blending brush that I started with and then just kind of soften up those edges. And then last with this Morphe M506, it's like a small kind of fluffy almost like a pencil brush, but it has a little bit more blend to it. I'm gonna take the black shade in the Jeffree Star palette, and I'm gonna kind of use that as like a wing. I'm gonna kind of bring it up onto my lid here. And then the closer out I get, the more down onto the straight edge I'm gonna blend it. So instead of blending it up to where the black is higher up, I'm gonna sweep it down so that way it kind of tapers thinner and thinner the further out that we go. So now I'm just gonna cut the front part of my crease using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and my MAC 252 brush. I wanna kind of lift this area a little bit more, so I'm gonna bring it kind of higher up and kind of almost onto the bridge of my nose. I really want this inner part of my eye to be super bright. 
So see how it's super white here and then smoky on the edges. And it's going on. I'm gonna take Nylon by MAC. It is like the brightest highlight color. And just kind of pat that right over. For the rest of my lid, I'm gonna take this ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Cosmic Charge. Again, with my same MAC 242 brush. This is just like a gorgeous, kind of silvery, taupey color. Like, it's so pretty. Then I'm gonna take my ring finger and then just kind of melt the product on top of that. I feel like with my finger, it helps it give more of a foil. Then I'm gonna take a clean blending brush with no product and just kind of buff out the edges right into Hi Dude from the Jeffree Star palette. A small pencil. I'm gonna use that to kind of sharpen up the crease a little bit more. So I'm just lightly grazing that over top of the crease shades. And then next to add more sparkle to the look, I'm taking the shade Diamond Dust by Stila and I'm just gonna do a light sweep of that just in the center of my eye. I'm just lightly gonna pat this just on the center. I'm also gonna take some more of Nylon by MAC and use that to highlight under my brow bone. For foundation, lately I have been using a super expensive foundation, but it does give the skin such a beautiful finish. And I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath foundation in the shade Medium 16. I got a sample of this when I was in New York City and I absolutely love the way it looked and felt on the skin. It just feels so lightweight. It really smooths out the skin. Um, it's beautiful. I actually prefer though the way this foundation applies with a brush. So to blend it out, and I'm using a super expensive brush too. This one Alex actually got me for our anniversary. It's the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Brush. I just love the way it buffs out this foundation. So I have been using this pretty much every day since I got it. Now, I think right now it's a little bit dark for me because I got it when I did my self tanner and I try to do self tanner at least once a week just cause I like to be a little brown. Now this foundation is definitely buildable to a medium coverage, but since I layer like concealers and stuff on top, I kind of like the way it is more sheer because I can layer on my concealer and powders without my skin looking too cakey or feeling too heavy. And the concealer that I love using with this foundation is actually drugstore. The Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer goes beautifully on top. I found that the shape tape is almost too thick with this foundation, so like they just don't melt together. But this Milani one looks beautiful with it. And then like I said, since this foundation is more lightweight, for some reason, when I go in with a sponge and a concealer, it just doesn't melt together right. But if I blend the edges first with a brush and then go in with a beauty blender, it blends out really nice. Take my sponge. And then for contour today, I'm gonna be using my new MAC Studio Fix foundation in NC50. It does have some warmth to it, so it gives kind of like a bronze look to the skin without being too orange and it's not too gray. I have been loving this. A little goes a long way too. Also gonna use it down the sides of my nose. And around my mouth. To blend that out, I'm using this dual fiber brush by MAC. I like this brush because the hairs are long enough to where it'll blend out the cream contour without moving my foundation around. I'm gonna take some concealer and put that on the sides of my nose. And this will help blend out my nose contour. I'm now gonna set my whole face using my Fit Me powder in 235 Pure Beige. I'm gonna use my damp beauty sponge to apply that. To set my under eyes, I'm using my Cody Airspun powder.
taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45. I'm gonna bronze and contour with it. I'm gonna clean up underneath the contour with the same um, powder. And then I'm gonna warm up the sides of my nose with the same contour shade. And I'm gonna blend that contour shade into my eyeshadow colors and then work it down. Then I'm gonna wipe away the bake underneath of my eye. For blush today, I'm going to be using Dainty by MAC, and I'm just going to blend that right along where I contoured. And I'm just going to buff away that big underneath of here, up into the blush and bronzer. To highlight down the center of my nose, I'm taking this color in my Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold Highlighting Palette. And then I'm going to mix all the colors together to highlight my cheekbones. And I'm only going to focus that like all the way up here. And then I like to wrap it around above my brow. Now I'm going to set my face with some Fix Plus. I'm going to take What's the Tea in my Jeffree Star Morphe palette. And with a pencil brush, smudge that on my lower lash line, having it the lowest in the center. And then tapering it close to my lash line in the inner and outer corners like this really opens up my eye and makes it look ginormous. Gray color called Vroom Vroom and put that closer to my lash line. I'm just gonna take my MAC Dual Dare eye pen and use the liquid side of this just to line right on my lash line. And then taking a flat definer brush with the black shade in the Jeffree Star palette, I'm gonna go right over top of that black eyeliner to smoke it out a little bit. And then I can also stamp that right on my lower lash line, right up against my lashes. Only focusing this on the outer corners. To line my lips today, I'm gonna take this NYX Gorgeous Brown Lip Color in the shade Downtown Beauty. And I wanna make it look like I got lip filler, even though I don't. So I'm gonna bring it a little bit lower than my natural lip. And then taper it in toward my natural inner corner. And then same thing here, I'm gonna kinda of go over my natural cupid bow. And then from my natural inner corner, I'll match it to these shades. And then for lipstick, I'm taking this BH Cosmetics liquid lipstick in this like really cool tone nude shade. The name rubbed off the bottom, but I'm gonna do my best to find it and then link it down below because it's such a gorgeous different kind of nude. So now I'm just gonna apply my Amazon lashes. Before I do that, I'm using my Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara to prep my top and bottom lashes. I'm gonna cover the lash band with a liner. All right, you guys, so here you have it. This is the completed look. A little bit extra, but definitely super glamorous, perfect for a fall night out or going into like winter holiday parties. This look is perfect for that. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did happen to like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can be notified every Wednesday when I upload. I'm so hungry right now. I'm about to like throw down a bunch of food because this makeup tutorial took way too long. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Love you.